I'm always getting stuck, which means I'm going to need a winch. But before I get a winch, I need a place to mount it. That's what today's video is all about. Buckle up, Buttercup. Buttercup. We're back to building and putting more parts on the Bronco. And today I'm going to be putting on the Buckle Up Off-Road Winch Mount. The best part about this winch mount is if you have a camera, there's a camera relocation. And if you have sensors on your Bronco, check it out. Sensor relocations. If you don't have sensors, that's fine. It comes with caps so you can seal those holes right up. This is compatible for all Broncos as long as you have the modular bumper. A perk about this mount is you don't have to worry about it blocking your intercooler. I have learned the hard way that when you have winches or winch mounts or bumpers that are blocking your intercooler, that is going to take a toll on your Bronco long term, especially if you plan on towing things like a camper. Ask me how I know. Everything on the table is included in the winch mount kit. I'm going to install just the winch mount today, not the winch. That's going to be a separate video, but most winches are going to be compatible on this winch mount. As you can see, there are little holes here that are the basic like mount holes for a typical winch. So let's go ahead and get started and get this thing installed. You know where you can get this? You guessed right, buckleuposfroad.com. For the first part of this installation, I'm going to assume you have a camera to relocate. If you do not have a camera, you can fast forward a little bit and skip these steps. But if you have a camera, you wanna remove these nine push pins to remove the cowling to access your grill and take that off. Remove the cowling, and then you're gonna to need to remove these four 10 millimeter bolts. Next, we're going to disconnect the front camera and the little washer tube. Now you're going to gently pull on the grill to release it from the clips that are holding it in place. I placed the grill on top like this because I have a lot of wiring for lights and everything. For you, you could just put it on a table. It's going to be much easier, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for myself so I don't have to redo all of this wiring. But the next step is to remove all the hardware that is used to connect the camera to the grill. Yours may look a little bit different because this is an aftermarket grill. This is the buckle up grill, um, but it should look fairly similar. Next, we're going to remove the little hose for the washer and the mount, and here's the camera. Take out your camera mount and then reinstall this bracket with the original hardware. You may want to zip tie or twisty tie the old camera wire and the washer fluid wire, just in case you ever want to revert back to stock, you'll still have it available, but it's not going to be dangling from your grill. I'm going to leave my grill uninstalled because later on in this process, you're going to need to get access into here again. So we're going to move on to the bumper. There are going to be four push pins on each side to remove this plastic cap. Once the pins are removed, just kind of pull and then these little caps will come off. With a 15 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the tow hook bolts. Put your hand up through behind the bumper underneath the headlight and you're gonna see this wiring harness. That's your sensor harness. You're gonna to wanna to unplug that. I'm gonna take the last three bolts off. I recommend having a helping hand because then we're gonna take this heavy bumper off. I'm going to remove the three T40 bolts on each side here. And then I'm going to get a 13 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts behind here of the bumper that's gonna remove the bracketry. Once you have all of the hardware removed, take out this bracket and then move to the other side and do the exact same thing. Flip the bumper over and then you'll locate four T40s we're gonna remove those. Do the same thing on the other side. Lift this bracket up and then you'll see that you gain access to your two sensors in here. These two sensors right here are the ones we're gonna be relocating. Disconnect the harness from the sensor. 
To remove the two inner sensors, you're gonna take these tabs and kind of push them out and then push up from the bottom and they'll pop right out. Next, you're gonna grab these two harnesses that come with the mounts kit. You're going to connect it to the end right here that you just removed the sensor from. And then on the other side, you're just gonna place it right through the hole where the sensor was located. And then do the exact same thing for the other side. Reinstall the bracket with the OEM hardware. Do the same thing for the other side. Grab your hooks and flip them over. And then you're gonna remove the 10 millimeter bolt right here. Just like that. Once you remove the hooks, you can reinstall this bracketry. Make sure you reinstall it on the proper side. reinstall the T40s that we took out. Place the bumper back onto the Bronco and then we're going to put on our new mounting bracket. When installing these bolts, make sure you don't have them really tight or anything, just basically enough to keep this in place because you're gonna wanna move this around to put this plastic cover back into place. We're gonna test fit this to make sure it's lined up properly. And then once you make sure that this was lined up properly, you can go ahead and tighten the bolts and then place the plastic back over the mount. I have everything mocked up, everything is fitting good, so it's time to go ahead and tighten everything up and then put the plastic cap back on. Now we can put our push pins back in. It's now time to install the three bolts on each side and tighten them all up. Put in the red tow hooks. You're gonna get two bolts and two washers and this takes a 10 millimeter Allen head. Woo! Now is the time to add the camera mount. Just place it right here and then put the bolts right through here. Grab your sensor holders. As you can see on here, you're gonna see an R for right, L for left. Left is the driver's side, right is the passenger side. So it's like you're the mount looking this way, they're gonna go on like this. Pop in the sensors, it's very easy. And then connect it with the new harness. Since both of the sensors are in on the winch mount, I'm gonna go ahead and Reconnect this one so I don't forget. Install your hardware on this plastic piece and come over here. These are side specific. This is for the passenger side. Put the wires in here. You'll see there's a little notch right there and that's where the harness can go through without getting pinched. You'll need a five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten this up. Repeat the same thing for the other side. The sensors, camera relocation is set. So we're gonna revisit the grill. The part that we zip tied, there's this little connection. You wanna pull that out because we're gonna reuse that. Ah! And then also this quick connect thing right here on the other end, you need to pull that out as well. Put these to the side, we're gonna use that in a little bit. But now we are going to connect the camera harness. I ran this behind the headlight and then I'm gonna put it through down here, kind of behind the grill, and that way it comes out through underneath, or actually above the bumper. But you connect it right up here. Just like that. Grab your hosing on one side, you're going to connect the little thing you just disconnected from the other hose. Then take the open end and fish it all the way behind the light, just like you did for the other one. Then connect it. Guide the hose and the wire underneath the winch mount, pull through. Got both of them here. 
And then there's this little hole on the winch mount. You're going to push them right up here and then we'll install it to the camera. For the next step, you're gonna grab your camera, place it in the camera mount. Then you're gonna get the second part of the new camera mount that came with the winch kit. You're also going to grab the two five millimeter Allen wrench bolts. And this is the little piece that we took off earlier that was on the top part of this grill. You're going to connect this to the end of the hose. And then once that's attached, we're going to attach it to the bottom part of the camera. This is the little water hose that cleans your camera when you turn your windshield wipers on. And then you're going to connect the harness to the camera, just like that. Now, when you go to put this in, see there's a notch here in the corner. That's where the wires are gonna come out and you're gonna sandwich this whole mount in. So if you come around here, you'll see that this is where the wire should be coming out. It's not gonna get pinched off or anything. And then you're gonna go ahead and install your hardware. Grab your zip ties. You'll notice that on the mount right here, there's some little slots here. That's to zip tie the hose and the wire to the winch mount. I'm going to pull the hose and wire up over here, bunch it up and zip tie it and just kind of keep it wedged up back here out of this area. Now it's time to reinstall the grill and check everything over and make sure everything's working properly. Looks like everything's working right. It looks like everything is working properly. I didn't get any errors for the sensors. The front camera has a great view. The little windshield wiper fluid thingy was working. So overall, I'm super excited. It's not a very difficult install, but it might be a little time consuming. You might get a little dirty and it's always helpful to have another helping hand. I will be doing a winch install here coming up so you guys can see that if you guys need help installing the winch. And then once that's installed, I'll be doing a video of putting this thing to the test. I have some pretty cool plans. You're not gonna wanna miss that video, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Until next time, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup.